trans surfer and the trans and curious. My name is Renee Garcia and today we're going to be talking about jumping through cracks. This is actually inspired by a quote that I read online that I have fallen in love with. I heard it a few years ago and I think it's very, very trans surfy. The quote says, when you see an opening, even with the slightest of cracks, jump through it. Not all the time, just today. It's a shift from what is no longer in integrity or truth. You'll feel it. Like when the subway door is closing and you realize it is your train, slide in. You'll figure out what's next when you get to your seat. I totally love that. Oh my God, it's so good. It's so, so, so trans -surfy. Before I get started, remember to like this video and comment below. My world is taking care of me to enter my daily giveaway for my reprogramming stickers. And Reality 2.0 Teachable Course, link down below, check it out. And if you have not yet joined us on the Facebook group, link below, it is a rockin' time. I think we have something like almost 6,000 people in there all talking about trans surfing. It's amazing. So definitely check that out. So yes, jumping through cracks. What does that mean exactly? Well, in my opinion, from my experience, all movement within the alternative space has to do with cracks. So you either go up, fall up or you fall down, right? Um, if you like to look at my visual representation, how I like to see it in my head, if you like to use that one for yourself, the linear life tracks sort of layered on top of each other. For me personally, I like to think that every day I have access to 10 different lifelines the worst one is the bottom one. This is me like bottomed out depression, you know, crying, oh, why me? I can't take it anymore. That's number one. That's the bottom. That's where we don't want to be as trans servers, obviously. And then number 10 is like, you've hit it, right? You're on the wave of fortune. You're in your heart and mind coordination. You're in the alternatives flow. Your inner observers activated. You're feeling good. Pendulums aren't hooking onto you and you are loving your trans surfing life. This is the top layer. Okay, so then there's the movement between the layers. And how movement occurs is with our thought quality, our frequency, and our action. Okay, so this is where the, um, the cracks come in. I don't know if you can see that, but there's little, little breaks in these lines that signify cracks. So this is where the cracks come in. The cracks are essentially opportunities for you to tap into something other than what you are experiencing right now. It could be a new direction. It could be a chance to move somewhere else. It could be a higher calling. Maybe um, you've always wanted to make YouTube videos yourself or somebody's asked you to come in, be a volunteer someplace in your community or whatever it is. It could be, it could be an action of a higher nature. It could be an invite from someone. Maybe somebody's like, hey, you know what I want to do? I want to go hike the Pacific Crest Trail or whatever it is, right? It could be an invite, again, an opportunity. It could be a job offer. Even if, now check this out, even if it's something that maybe isn't what you would choose for yourself, Maybe something comes out of nowhere. I actually had this happen to me yesterday. I had something popped in to my LinkedIn for my primary business. It's a store in town that was saying that they were in need of a manager. And I was like, oh my God, they would die if I came in there and applied for that job. I'd get hired in like five minutes. But it's a little bit, it's a little bit beneath me at this point because I'm sure the pay isn't too well and I would lose my time and freedom so I wouldn't be able to make videos any longer and all that kind of stuff. But still, I still considered it, right? It could still be a crack allowing me movement to a higher lifeline. And I will get into 
in a moment more about when you encounter information that maybe you would typically just discard to pay a little closer attention to it because it might be one of those cracks. It could be a course that grabs your attention. Maybe you saw something online on watercolor painting or who knows, some random thing, right? And it kind of grab your attention. You never know where that stuff can lead. It might start out as a little seed of something, but who knows what that seed if nourished could, you know, could grow into. So these cracks, how do we see or acknowledge or access or utilize these, these opportunities to move around in the alternative space? Well, the first thing, more so than anything else, is your awareness has to be relatively high. You will find the majority of the cracks that are available to you in your life right now when you are in the center screen. So if you're sucked into your outer screen, you're gonna be preoccupied with external events. You're most likely not going to see those cracks. And if you're in your head overthinking, over worrying, you know, doing what we humans typically do, just running our brains, you are definitely not going to see those cracks either. So to see the cracks, practicing staying in your center screen longer, or at least waking up as often as you can, I see myself, I see my reality, because when you see your reality, you see the cracks, right? Then you have access to information that can help you move around. So the cracks sort of appear to us via outer intention. This is outer intention bringing us little, little signals for opportunity that we can either let pass us by or we can grab onto, and just like the lady says, um, when you see an opening, even with the slightest of cracks, jump through it. Not all the time, just today. Or not all the time, but just in that moment, right? Just in that moment when you feel like jumping through one of those cracks. Um, observing, observing your external reality. Now this doesn't mean being in your outer screen, this simply means paying attention to what your environment is offering you and what you can tap into to see yourself to a higher lifeline. Guiding signs, same thing. Guiding signs is huge, and guiding signs is a little more for the advanced transfers of the world because you're really not going to be able to decipher what a sign is trying to tell you until you have done a lot of this work previously, like until you have a lot of this stuff handled, you understand what heart and mind coordination is. You understand when you see a true goal or a door, you understand what giving into the alternatives flow feels like and what comes in your direction in the flow, all that kind of stuff. You access information in the alternatives flow that is in line with a new life track, um, a, a crack, right, via a guiding sign. This is a sign saying, hey, look over here, this might be something for you. I talked about the alternatives flow. Really, this is another way that you could, that you could utilize the alternatives flow. So you're here, you're starting to transurf, right? And you decide to sort of let go with the inner intention. You are going to manage your importance levels about things internally, things externally, all those different ways that we apply importance as human beings. And you are going to practice giving into the flow. Well, when you do that, you, you essentially just go like this. You flow, you flow up to a higher track, you encounter something, hey, a course that grabs your attention or a job offer. Then you go up here, oh, more opportunity, an invite somewhere. And this is you flowing. All the alternatives flow is, is your movement from lower lifelines to higher lifelines via guiding signs, right? Outer intention, all that kind of stuff. Um, breaking the script can be a good one too. If you are in a place 
where you are challenged, you're stagnant, you don't know what to do, you don't know what's available to you, you don't think you have any options, you don't see any opportunity, try to think of something radical you can do to break or bend the script to get a few more variables in play in your external environment. Now, I know people are like, well, what the hell does that mean? But it could be something as small as like, an example I'll give for myself recently that comes to mind. I haven't been participating in the real estate business so much just because of COVID, but the other day, a girlfriend of mine decided that we were gonna go down to a popular place where people walk and we were gonna you know, hand out treats and um, talk to people and pass out base business cards and stuff like that. So this is just us breaking the script up a little bit of staying at home and not being out, not taking the initiative, not taking action. Breaking the script up a little so maybe something comes in my direction that has to do with real estate. Maybe something else presents itself entirely. Maybe I see an old friend that I haven't talked to in 20 years. Who knows? But it's getting yourself out of a stagnant environment and getting yourself into a place where you're doing something anomalous, right? Taking an anomalous action and breaking the script up a little bit. Breaking the script up really is a good way to see signs, start having outer intention, present some new material, all that kind of stuff. And then others advice, I'm gonna leave the video here and I'm gonna end it here because I really do feel that others advice is such a valuable way to access stuff that we typically would not access with just our own minds. So I used to be one of these people that kind of thought that I knew it all, right? I know everything, I don't wanna to listen to you, I've got it figured out, I'm a control freak, I'm gonna do it my way, blah, 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 inner intention, all that crap. Once I realized that I didn't have it all figured out, I didn't know what I was really doing, I was using inner intention, any time somebody comes to me with some kind of advice, hey, here's an idea, why don't you try this? That is a crack, right? That is a very clear crack. Okay, somebody else sees it this way. Let me jump in for now and see where that takes me. Because again, that one crack could lead to a lot more other cracks. It doesn't mean that that one crack is just gonna be it and then put you against a wall, right? That crack might open up other opportunities, other higher callings, more invites to do something, more chances, more opportunities, whatever it is. But just like the initial concept in the transurfing modality, that there's evidence to support all theories, right? So if there's evidence to support all theories, and you are feeling stuck and that you don't have anything going on, then, then you're gonna gather enough evidence to support that theory, right? You're just gonna stay stuck. If you decide that, you know what, next time I see a crack, I'm gonna jump in and I'm gonna jump in, see where it takes me, and I'm going to really love the experience and the power of being able to do something like that, right? You have therefore just created a new theory about these little micro opportunities that pop up. And as soon as you jump into that one, then you are going to be at that frequency. You are taking that action, your thoughts are in line with that thing, therefore more of those little micro opportunities or maybe maybe even bigger opportunities are going to start presenting themselves to you exponentially. It grows and grows and grows and grows and grows. So let me know what you think of this video, everyone jumping through the cracks. What are you doing? Are you here? Are you here? Are you moving through those cracks? Are you listening to your higher calling? Are you paying attention to guiding signs? Are you in the flow? Are you harvesting outer intention? If you haven't watched that video, Harvesting Outer Intention, I would highly recommend it, but let me know your thoughts. Remember to like this video and comment and subscribe, and thank you so much for watching, everyone. Bye.